The Very Quiet Cricket Once upon a time, there was a very quiet cricket. He lived in a lush green meadow, surrounded by all sorts of noisy creatures. There were chirping grasshoppers, buzzing bees, croaking frogs, singing birds, and fluttering moths. But the cricket couldn't make a sound. One day, the cricket was sitting in the meadow, feeling sad and lonely. A grasshopper landed next to him and asked, Why are you so quiet, cricket? The cricket tried to speak, but no sound came out. He rubbed his wings together, but that didn't make any sound either. A frog hopped over to the cricket and said, Don't worry, cricket. I'm here to help you. The frog closed its eyes and took a deep breath. Then it opened its mouth wide and let out a loud croak. The cricket tried to do the same thing, but he couldn't croak. He tried again and again, but nothing happened. The bird flew down to the cricket and said, What's wrong, cricket? Why can't you make a sound? The cricket tried to explain, but no sound came out. He rubbed his wings together again, but that didn't make any sound either. The bird sighed. I don't know how to help you, cricket, she said. Maybe the moth can help you. The moth landed next to the cricket and said, I'm happy to help you, cricket. What's the problem? The cricket tried to tell the moth, but no sound came out. He rubbed his wings together again, but that didn't make any sound either. The moth looked puzzled. The cricket felt like crying. He didn't know what to do. He was just a quiet cricket, and he didn't know how to change that. Suddenly, the cricket saw another cricket walking towards him. This cricket was also very quiet. The cricket ran towards the other cricket and hugged him. I'm so happy to have met you, the cricket said. You're the only other cricket I know who is quiet like me. The other cricket smiled. I'm happy to have met you too, he said. The two crickets sat down together and talked for a long time. They talked about how it felt to be different, and how they had learned to accept themselves for who they were. At the end of the day, the cricket felt very happy. He had finally found someone who understood him. He realized that it was okay to be different. He was just fine the way he was. The cricket stood up and rubbed his wings together. To his surprise, a beautiful melody came out. The cricket was so happy. He could finally make a sound. Cricket and the other cricket danced around the meadow, singing and laughing. They were both so happy to be finally able to express themselves. The other creatures in the meadow were amazed. They had never heard a sound so beautiful before. They all cheered for the cricket, and the cricket and the other cricket danced until they were exhausted. From that day on, the cricket was no longer sad or lonely. He had learned to embrace his quietness, and he was proud of who he was. He knew that his unique voice was a gift to the world.